Hey guys, welcome back to Rex and Reefs. Tonight, I have got a catch, clean, and cook that I have been wanting to do for a little while. And me and my dad and my uncle Melissa went offshore fishing two days ago on Friday, and we had an absolute blast. We started out the morning catching some live bait inshore. Uh, we got a bunch of white bait with, with little pilchards, and also got a bunch of pinfish to go in the live well. And then we headed straight offshore west about 30 miles. And I'm telling you guys this all at my house because when I did the intro on the boat, there was so much wind that my camera picked it up and it was just, you, you couldn't understand anything. So I'm having to redo this at my house. But anyways, we got into a mess load of snapper. I caught a big grouper on my chicken rig. And as you guys can see here, we saw this remora come up after my bait. Threw, pitched a few um, chunk baits at it, got it to eat, and made it happen. But tonight, I'm going to go ahead and clean up one of our lame snapper that we did. First, we're going to clean up, we're going to make, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do remora and snapper fish tacos. And really, I just want to do this for a taste test to see, because I've seen a couple videos on people doing the remora, catch, clean, and cooks, and I just wanted to really see how it tasted. They say it tastes like cobia, so today is the test. But to give it some kind of comparison to something, I did keep one of the lane snappers aside so that we can taste test accordingly. So what we're going to do is when we come down to fillet the snapper, do it just like you normally would. You'll come up here by the head. Make a first cut there. And come right down here. You're going to follow that spine, that backbone. Follow that all the way down. And you don't have to cut deep. I only go all the way through whenever I get to the bottom of the tail there. And I go through. Then you just lift it up and you come straight back down. Following that backbone. You're going to go up and around the rib cage. When you get to this side of the backbone, just make sure you angle your knife down. So you don't miss any of that meat that's there. That's the rib cage of pinballs. Now for the main attraction. We've got here, I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna come behind the head. And let's see, you can see that faint little line right there. That's its backbone. And I'm just gonna come down the side. The skin texture is, I would say that of like, um, Almost like a trigger fish, shark. Yeah, it looks like a shark. I mean, it's 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 not it's not like a. Of course, it's not scaly, but that backbone's pretty raised up too. But you guys can see this. But the meat actually looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's very light. That's a bloodline. Yeah, that's where the back one. Anyways. Not a perfect job on that, but <clears throat> the reason we are actually filming so late, it is so late out here. It's like 11 o'clock. We are filming so late because we've got a two year old daughter and it is near impossible to film. Just gonna come here and go right down the middle and get those pen bones out of there. The 
this really is a little bit bigger. Honestly, guys, the meat from like here up is fine on the top one. The bottom one doesn't really have much of anything. It's more of a little bit fishy of a flavor, and I don't like a really fishy fish at all. Alright, so what we've got here is we've got our remora over here, our snapper on this. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting about a half inch of oil inside of our pan. Perfect. And then I'm going to be turning that up to about six and a half, seven on our, our stove. A little bit of acidity on it, get it get it flowing, get everything broken down, and we just like the flavor. These are absolutely delicious. These are key limes. You can get them at your local grocery store Publix, and they are absolutely delicious. The more on the fish, the merrier. Our little one just decided to wake up right now. Maybe it's because I'm in here filming. So then what we're gonna do after you put the lemon on the fish, just go ahead, this is Everglades fish and chicken. Uh, just go ahead and sprinkle it on the fish. Just ever so lightly. Just make sure you get a good coating on it. Throw them in the egg bath. Give them a nice little mix. In. Now it's very important after you do your fish breading on there, always make sure your fish dries a little bit. It's going to make the breadcrumb stick. When it comes down to actually frying the fish, it'll make it stick on and stay on a little bit better than if you were to just put it straight from the plate into the fryer. Stop licking the bag. Hey, Copper thinks it's gonna be good. So you're licking the bag of where it's at. If that doesn't tell you something. The carpets, just to clarify. Make sure it's super key not to have your oil too hot. You don't want to cook the fish, the outside of the fish, before the inside actually cooks over. Now these are small pieces, so it's not a big deal, but I learned that one from my wife. She always yells at me, my oil is too hot. Guys, I have a confession to make. The only real time I cook at this house is when I do a YouTube video. <laughs> My wife, she's awesome. She is so responsible. Other than the occasion that my mother-in-law comes over and cooks for us, she does all the cooking at the house. So it's gonna be a tough taste comparison because first off, this is snapper. Second off, snapper is, I don't care really what kind of snapper it is, it is pretty much my favorite eating fish in the water. I'll take it over mahi, I'll take it over just about anything, any day of the week. But the only tell you one thing I won't take it over is a cold, crisp Coke. Everybody who knows me out there, Mike, Kelly, Nat, I know you'll watch this. My true love right here. Coke, if you're watching, to the channel, <laughs> or at least me, so that I don't have to keep buying pallets and stuff. What I have here is we've just got a regular chopped Asian salad. Um, it comes in a bag with dressing, all that stuff like that. I didn't use it all at all. This is just gonna be like our slaw for the tacos to give it kind of a fresh, fresh taste and fresh feel to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of the remora, take a piece of the snapper, just so you can see the difference on the inside. Yeah. All right, guys. Sneak peek before the taco. You don't like it. I do, it's different. It's different. It has a little bit different flavor to it. I want you to taste it. You, you taste it? No, I think it's good. It is good, but I'm saying it has its own flavor to the meat. It's not just, so what I'm trying to say guys is that the fish just, a lot of fish just has a fish taste to it. I think it tastes good. I think it's got its own 
specific flavor. But what we're gonna do here to make this taco is let's get a few pieces of meat here. We'll add, oh, she wants to take this for lunch tomorrow, so I don't wanna get too much in there. I'm gonna make this homemade, I made this homemade sauce here, like I told you earlier, and you're just gonna drizzle it over top just a little bit. <laughs> Can't really drizzle. <laughs> Paste it over top. Smear it. And then literally just take the, the fresh slaw that you made here, the fresh cabbage slaw, just to give it a nice, fresh flavor. As you can see, we have about 12 inch size tortillas because with this whole coronavirus thing, everybody is bugged out and went and bought all kinds of toilet paper, everything they possibly could. And I guess they decided that they wanted the six or eight inch tortillas more than they did the large ones. So this is literally all they had left. But I'm thinking about, should I just cut the sides off? Yeah. Should I? Yeah. Just tear these sides to make them fit. You guys know how we do. You gotta make. You gotta improvise. You gotta make it happen. Well, I don't need 17 layers of tortilla <laughs> to go around this taco. But tell me that, other than my square tortilla, <laughs> that thing is looking really nice. Still, so much tortilla on this thing. Why do they even make? Such a large tortilla. I don't understand. I think they're burritos. That. Yeah, but still, even that, that's a huge. No, that's the size they have to be. How does that look? Pretty gross? Oh, looks good. Looks good? Let's give it a try. A little hot, but. I like it. It's a little bit firmer of a fish, uh, which is good. Perfect for these tacos. Would I go out there and recommend you kill every remora you see? No, but is it really good? Is it edible? Absolutely. This guy's right here is the real taste tester. I'm, I'm a foodie. I like food, but the boss, that one right there, she's the real deal. Give us what you think. Tell me what you think. I taste it now. I think you can taste it more in the, the bigger pieces. It's got its own flavor, right? It's like... I'd say it's a mild fish. Yeah, it's super mild. It's not fishy at all. No, it's really good. I the bet. fish is not fishy, not even it. one bit. But This is way better than the Spanish mackerel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, whoever out there who fries and eats Spanish mackerel, shame on you because it is no good. It is, I made curried Spanish mackerel. I didn't like it. She? I like the curry. I didn't care for the fish. If you're gonna eat Spanish mackerel, kingfish, or anything like that, smoke it. It is so much better. Sorry for all the people who are out there who fry their mackerel and eat it. Show them the, uh, so this is the, what is this? I forgot the name of the fish. Remora? <laughs> Outtakes. Wait, did you just miss that? Yeah, here you go. This, this is, is the remora. That's the inside of the remora. So still a pretty firm meat. She's gonna have broken up fish tacos <laughs> tomorrow. Now let's do the... Do that, that piece right there. The this one? Plate. Yeah. But this one's thicker. Okay. You want the thicker yeah, one. Yeah. I mean... Guys, that right there... That's exactly why I told you guys, my favorite fish is snapper. That just looks beautiful. I know this is a remora video, but that snapper is just absolutely delicious to anybody. Anybody who would ever not like fish would love snapper. So, would you do it again? Would you go out there and kill a remora? Yeah, I definitely say so. I think- You would say go out there and catch them and keep them? Or would you just say I'd like say, it was say, good for the video because it was the video and we needed it? I would say if you went out fishing and you had a bad day of fishing and catch anything, you came across her mora, I'd say keep it <laughs> because it's pretty good. Well, guys, 
that's the boss speaking for us. Now, I just want to go ahead and say once again, I'm going to reiterate it again. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're going to be out for the night. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Let me show you guys that one more time. 11.54. It's 11.54 at night. And you know what? I just got done eating this taco. I just now started eating this taco. I still have to go and edit this video. So, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to work in early in the morning. i got a 7.30 meeting. For now, we are out of here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.